What should I say? Four or three, two, one. And then start off with. Who do you think has been the signing of the season so far? Start with you, Nuno. I'd have to go with Mo Salah. Why is that? <laughs> That's I can't do this, wait and why is that? <laughs> I can't do this, man. What's going on, guys? It's Reese from Sports Vibe, and today we are here with Vibers View. I'm here with Ebenezer and Mario, and we're going to be chatting about a few things. So, first things first, let's start off with transfer talk. Ebenezer, who's been your signing of the season so far? I'd have to say Mo Salah for Liverpool. Mo Salah, why him? Because I think he's got like 14 goals in what, 8, eight in games, and obviously Liverpool were without Coutinho and Mane for long periods of the season, so they were relying on Salah to you know get the goals and try and lift them up in the table. And obviously they're obviously in the Champions League as well, so they're now out of the group. I think they're out of the group in the Champions League, so things are looking up for Liverpool. Can he be that player to take Liverpool to a league title? I don't think now because obviously it's not it's not a one man man team, is it? So I think Liverpool's squad is not quite there yet, so. I think obviously if they improve their defence and maybe midfield, they can always score goals with obviously players like Salah, Mane, Coutinho, they've got Sturridge. So as long as they improve their defence, I think, yeah, maybe in a couple of years, Liverpool might be up there. And Mario, what about you? Who's been your signing of the season? I've got to disagree. OK. And why is that? Uh, I've got to think Morata all day long. I think the way that he's come into Chelsea and he's changed... Just the philosophy, the way that they play, the style of football as well. I think losing their vocal point of Diego Costa, having all of that scenario that went on at Chelsea, the pressure that was on Conte, you know, some of the players didn't like his training methods, that all stemmed because of Costa. And I think once that negativity was out of the club and we knew that Morata was coming in, I think it changed. Because speaking as a Chelsea fan, you know, I've seen a difference to the way they react to certain decisions and the way that they play as well. And I think also having that connection, that Spanish connection with Aspilicueta and with Fabregas and with Pedro, you know, they've welcomed him into the club. Yes, he has a big money signing. He's got that like pressure on, on his shoulders. But at the end of the day, I think he's come in and he's done well. He's linked up with Hazard and Pedro. And now you look at Chelsea and you think, instead of having that vocal point that that physical presence up front of Diego Costa. I think we play more of a, a passing style of football now with that front three, and I think he's a real vocal point to Chelsea this season. But Mario, like, obviously, like you said, Morata's had players like Fabregas play, yeah. playing him through, where obviously Salah, he's been basically Liverpool's only talisman, and he's had players like Henderson playing him through. So obviously, <laughs> who, who's going who's gonna, to you know, shine more? I Obviously, agree. I agree. But in footballing terms, in footballing terms, you Liverpool were struggling at the start of the season, yeah. And, and I that's agree. Where Salah and I agree. Shone that's where that's where he's he's shone. But I think, you know, by the end of the season, it's not going to be him that's shining. It's going to be Coutinho, and it's going to be Firmino, and it's going to be Mane. Because you've got to remember, Mane was injured. If Mane wasn't injured, I guarantee you this, Coutinho would have scored them. I mean, Mane, Salah wouldn't have scored them goals. Yeah, but I guarantee it's, 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 that's, it's all hindsight. I don't, I don't think you can you can look at it like that. But we've only got... Well, I say we've only got one striker, but I think Bashisai doesn't get the chances that he should deserve. Because he's but not think, good enough. Not that he's, he's not good he's, enough. He's had, he's had the chances. But I don't Mar- think he's not good Mar- has been out. Bashisai has had if you look chances. At, if you look at his goals-to-minutes ratio, it's, it's one of the best in the Premier League. I guarantee you right that now. No, 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 no. Bashway. I guarantee you that now. Nearly every time he's played, yeah, he's scored. I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah, but how, when's that, what, in the last 10 minutes of games when he comes on? He won us a league title. He, he won us. Bashway. He won you a league title. Well, he scored the winning goal. He scored the winning so, goal to win so us a league, league, league title. that you a league title? Yeah. One goal doesn't win you a I league know, title. I know in, over the whole season, yes. But I'm saying that game, Costa was injured. We, had, we didn't have a striker. What, we're going to play Hazard up front against, what, McCauley, Dawson? You've done it before. You played Pedro yeah. up there, false nine. True, true. But I think he done well in that game. I know that's like, we're, we're looking back at last season, but like you're saying with Salah, like, I agree that he's come in and he's done the job, but at the end of the season, I don't think he's going to be, be up there with the players like De Bruyne, who's going to be performing consistently every single week. But he has been doing it, so why not? Let me, let me hold you there. I've got a question... It's going back to Bashuai, right? He was a big money move at the start of last season. Yeah. You have players like Tammy Abraham, 
Dom Solanke. What is the difference between Bashuai and those two guys? They're your own players. Well, okay. this why, is, this why is, aren't they playing for you? This is, thing, is this is the thing that I'm, I'm annoyed as, as a Chelsea fan, and it, and it, to a certain degree, it annoys me when I see players like Loftus Cheek, I see players like Tammy Abraham, I see players like Solanke getting an opportunity for England when they've come through Chelsea and they can still be playing for us. That's what annoys me. Last night was a prime example. Yeah. Yeah. When Chelsea played carrier bag, not carrier bag. We've got a member here, Anthony, who works with us, one of our colleagues. I know for a fact he's got a lot to say on this match. You're talking about youth players at Chelsea. Like in, general, in general. In general, Nathaniel Chalabot is a point that's come up quite a lot. Anthony, bring a chair. I know you've got a point. And that's what we've got time for today, guys. Thank you very much, my guests, Anthony, Mario, and Ebenezer. Please leave a like. Shit, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't, this is so not authentic. Please don't be afraid to like, share, or subscribe. Also say, <laughs> also say, if you've got any comments, leave them below. Say like, like, can, can, I, like, can I throw this at something? Do you know how, how cool? hungry I am? Say Please. like, comment, and subscribe, Trust. and share with your friends. And that's what we've got time for today, guys. Thank you very much for my guests, Anthony, Mario, and Ebenezer. Be sure to like, share, and comment on the video as well as subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.